guys welcome back so in this video i will be creating this makeup look right here this is for new year's eve though this is so versatile and so wearable you can wear it to a wedding or to any party or you can wear it with any outfit casual or ethnic so if you like what you see and you like to see how i created this look then please keep on watching so i will first start by moisturizing my face for that i will be using sanjeevni beauty elixir it is amazing it does it has done wonders to my skin i don't know if it will suit everybody but it has uh, it has suited my skin so i'm just going to take tiny bit of it they claim that you can use it as a primer but i don't use it as a primer i apply it before applying primer to my face so to fill in my brows i'll be using color pop brow pencil in banging brunette I'll just casually fill in my brows. Once I've filled my brows to my liking, I just take a spoolie and casually run it over my brows to give them a more natural and blended look. I don't like those Instagram brows. I like more feathered out uh, brows. So once I've filled my brows, I just take an angled, flat angled brush, pick some. Uh, concealer on it and apply it mostly underneath my brows so that I have those clean and sharp brows I'm saying brows a lot <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna take some concealer on my flat angle brush and gonna apply it underneath my brows and a little bit above them to give them a more clean and sharp look The same concealer is going on my eyelid as eyeshadow base because I'm too lazy to switch between products. So using my Real Techniques mini sponge, I'm going to pick some powder on it and dab it on my eyelid to set my concealer in. Uh, this way is whatever eyeshadows go on top of it blend easily. So for whole eye makeup look, I'll be using my Morphe 35W eyeshadow palette. I will be picking up burnt orange shade onto a fluffy eyeshadow brush and apply it in my crease. To intensify the crease a little bit more, I'm then picking up this chocolate brown color onto the same eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply it uh, mostly to my arrow corner and then dragging it a little bit into my crease. And finally I will be picking up this shimmery uh, creamish color onto a flat eyeshadow brush and this is going all uh, over my eyelid as in the inner two-third of my eyelid. And then taking a clean uh, blending brush with no product on it, I'm going to blend everything out to give it a more clean, blended, diffused look. I'm picking up this, uh, again, this is more of a light goldenish eyeshadow. This is going in the inner corner of my eye. Now, now using my Maybelline Colossal Liner, I'm going to apply a simple cat eye. I'm now going to tightline my eyes using Magnet Eyes Kajal by Faces. After tightlining my eyes, I will be applying a generous coat of mascara. I'll be using Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. 
I always apply the mascara first on my upper lashes as in on the downward motion like this so that my lashes fall straight and it is easy for me to apply false lashes. If you have difficulty in applying false lashes, you can just try this trick. Just put them down and later on when you've applied your mas uh, mascara, sorry, when you've applied your eyelashes, you can just apply the uh, mascara on the upward motion and blend your false ones with the real ones. If that makes any sense at all. For lashes, I guess I will be wearing uh, Mm, Tempress Wispy by House of Lashes for this look. I'll quickly apply these off camera and get back to you guys. So my lower lid, I will be picking up the same uh, shade that went in my crease and I'm going to buff it out on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to apply a very thin layer of uh, glitter underneath my eyes as on my lower lash line. So I'll be applying glitter glue first. This is C2P Professional Makeup Glitter Glue. And then I'll be applying this rose gold glitter. I got these off Amazon. I'll be trying them for the first time. I don't know how they are. But I was having a hard time finding a good rose gold glitter. So I just picked up these. So let's see how it looks. That is it for the lower layer. I will be not filling in my waterline. I'll just have a little bit of glitter underneath there and just apply a little bit of mascara. That's it for the eyes now. Moving to my face, I will be first applying Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. This is going all over my face, but I will be applying more of it to my T zone area because there is where. A lot of pores are visible. Now I will be applying Elamasca Skin Base Foundation all over my face using a, using a damp sponge. This is Real Tec Techniques Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. This foundation smells so good. It smells like caramel. I just feel like having caramel coffee while I'm applying this. So my under eye area, as in to hide my dark circles and to highlight that area, I'll be using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in shade light. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes in a triangle like I normally do and then just blend it out and then again the way I set my lid I'm just going to run my uh, sponge over the compact powder this is again Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth powder in shade 220 and this I'm just running my sponge over it and then dabbing it onto my concealer to set it in moving on to contouring I will be use I will be using BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow contouring palette that's mouthful so I will be first going in with the contour shade and will be uh, contouring on the normal places that I like to contour. get that gradient effect on my contour I will be picking up this bronzer from the same palette it will be applying above my contour once I'm done contouring I again just run my mini blender over my compact powder and cut my contour like that so using my powder foundation brush I'm gonna dust 
away all the excess powder and then whatever that will be on the brush i'll run it all over my face to set everything in place oh that rhymed for my blush again i'm picking up the blush from the same palette you can use whichever blush you want to use but i am quite lazy today i just don't want to switch between a lot of products so i will be picking up the blush from the same palette and will be applying it on the apples of my cheeks i like how, how subtle this blush is and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it so it gives me a natural glow Now using my MAC 6 Plus, I'm going to set my whole face with it. So, wait for it to dry a little bit, not a lot, while it's still there on my skin, as if it's still a little damp, I will apply my highlighter. I will be using the Balm Mary Luminizer onto the places I like to highlight. So coming to the uh, final step of the whole makeup look, I will be applying red lip. Now you can use whichever shade you want to use. You can keep it nude or you can keep it berry red or you can keep it wine, dark wine lips. I will be applying a beautiful lip cream by NYX. This is in shade Russian Roulette. This is simply red lip cream. Just going to apply it on my lips to finish the look. So this is the final look guys. I hope you people like it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.